Hmm, I've just had an interesting conversation. I'm going to be travelling up to Solihull. I can't get there in one shot because it's 85 miles and the car won't do 85 miles on the motorway as we've been through many, many times. It does about 55, 60 if you're lucky. Um, and I've rung through the helpline, the Ecotricity helpline. And I've just said, you know, in passing, I said, well, yeah, we're always trying, just having a conversation, really. I just said, we try and ring before we uh, go to a charger because sometimes it's not right. And he said, no, no, it's always right. It's always right on the website which I know, and as almost every single other person out there will also know, that is just definitely not true. <laughs> because Mike, for instance, what, three, four weeks ago, tried to go up to London, um, and he went to a charger which was green, which was broken, of which, when we rung, they said, oh, yeah, it's been down, it's been down. Yeah, and we said, why don't you update your website? He said, oh, yeah, we're behind on that. Um, so the site isn't live, and he, the guy was called James I spoke to, um, kept reiterating that the site is always right. Um, even though it's got a note under there, it says this map doesn't provide live status updates for our charge points. But he did say that this map would know just as much as they do, which, as we know from previous experience, is not true. Um, because when you ring them, when you have a problem, they know more about it than the website suggests because it's green, not red, when it should be red. And when you speak to them about it, they say, oh, we know about that. Um, so unless they've lied all those times, they didn't really know about it, and they're trying to make out that they did. Um, what he's saying is definitely not true but another bad thing which we found out is they're transitioning that line over the 01452 number that's going to be emergency only so if you're completely stranded um, you shouldn't be ringing it to make a general inquiry whether a charger is up they're saying that you're going to have to fully rely on the website so in my mind I've lost complete all complete confidence in their network um, I asked him whether that change has been in place and he said no there's no change in place no it's um it's just things are changing as and when um, the network expands. So there's nothing on the website to suggest that. There's nothing to say don't ring that number. Um, he was pretty much full undertone of annoyance, really, that I rung that number just to check. Because don't be so stupid, just check the website kind of thing. Um, but we all know <laughs> the website isn't accurate. So unless it overnight has suddenly become really, really accurate, which I don't believe for a second, um, then... You're not to ring the number, okay? Travel there first, find out that it shouldn't actually be green. Then when you're stuck, give them a ring, the emergency number. And then presumably someone helps you out or you get traded away. Man, oh man, are they going the wrong route? Are they going the wrong route? I would have said so, unless they've suddenly got a really, really accurate map. Um, then if that's the case, then they need to remove the bit that says this map doesn't provide live status updates for our charge points. Map last updated yesterday, 23rd of the 7th. Oh my goodness. So the fragile charging network that we have got already has suddenly turned into an... <laughs> um, it's turning into, because you can still ring and they'll have to answer your questions unless you just put the phone down on you. Um, is actually turning into something that's going to be <laughs> ridiculously unreliable because you're going to get to play you actually are going to go to places now at green because you've told to to find out that they aren't working and then once you tell them then they'll mark them red probably in 24 hours time or something whilst other people go there and find they're not working either and uh, the only other possibility I suppose is the charges never go down in that way that's not a problem oh my goodness how to destroy a a network. If they really, they, well, they are going that route. So anyway, unless he's completely wrong, he's saying that that 01452 number is just going to be emergency only. There is going to be no phone number to go and check the state of a charger. Only if you're stuck, should you ring it. Which is a little bit too late, and um, which also means there is no planning anymore. Um, only as much as to find out where the charge points are. You have to travel to them to find out whether or not they really are up. And that is going to be nail-biting. Because what I've always previously done is traveling along give them a quick ring say just traveling to this charge station is it definitely one yeah yeah we've got reported no errors and it's all been lovely jubbly um, but now you're gonna be met with you sh check the map this is for only oh.